mates, I'm the Phantom Hunter and this is my trusty sidekick Jeff. Today we're cruising through the outbacks of Arcata, California. It's a typical college town and it is chock full of energy wasters. So today we're gonna hunt them down and cut the energy loads. Oh crikey, there's one right there! Go get him, Jeff! Woo! on the very lawn of the energy wasters. Let's see if we can get a look inside. Now they have no idea that we're about to save them bundles of energy. And not only are we gonna save them energy on their energy bill, but we're gonna show you how to do it in your home. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there you go, Jeff. Crikey, look at all that wasting going on in there. We gotta find a way to get inside. Oh, crikey, crikey. Look, Jeff, look what we have here. Now, this is your typical Arcata College student. You don't want to get too close sometimes, they bite. Now, you can tell they've got the spiky hair right here, danglies from the neck, and weird clothes. It's all right, you're all right there, lad. Just trying to get this on. How you doing? Good to see you. energy wasting in here. We got a TV, a stereo, a DVD player, a record player, a video player. Do they even have videos and records anymore? We got Christmas lights. It's not even Christmas. And a laptop that's plugged in but not being used. Now that is a lot of wasting. See these lights here? That indicates a phantom load. A phantom load sucks that money right out of your pocket and into your energy bill, even when the device is off. Look at these Christmas lights. They're not even energy efficient. We're about to change that, aren't we, Jeff? Whip it to me, Jeff. Oh. Let's get these out of here. Oh, my God. Let me out. You see, even when we turn this off, it's still pulling a phantom load. Your best indication of these lights, right here. Jeff over here has the stereo plugged into our kilowatt meter. It says that it's pulling almost 15 watts. That's how much a typical laptop computer uses when you're actually using it. So it's crazy for this to be using this much energy when it's off. You know how to solve that? It's with a power strip. It's the best weapon against a phantom load. All you do is plug everything into it, and when you're not using it, turn the strip off. Crikey! Get back! Danger! Danger! What we have here is a halogen lamp. Let's see if this bug is still alive. Alright, lucky for all of us, this bug is dead. Let's have a look inside. This in here is what makes it so dangerous. Jeff, get the backup lamp. You got it. Now, a normal halogen lamp is not only incredibly energy inefficient, but also kind of dangerous, too. See, a normal halogen lamp, the bulb heats up to an incredibly high temperature, which can actually set things on fire. Now, this faux halogen lamp right here uses a fluorescent bulb, and it only uses 55 watts, rather than, say, up to 500 with a normal halogen lamp. My guess is that they're attached to some war warts and they're using energy even when they're not plugged into anything. Let's follow it and find out. Oh, I was right. Got this one. Now let's tackle the next one. Are you ready? You're gonna pounce on it. Got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, wow, this one's even stronger. Killed it. Oh, whew. Now that we've made this hallway safe and free of war warts, I'm gonna go check out what's in the back. Hold on a second. See what we have here? This is a programmable thermostat. These little babies can save 5 or 10% on your energy bill just by lowering your heating at night or when you're not at home. Attaboy, Jeff! Who are these I people? I don't know who they you are. You let them I'm in! I'm doing this for a thing! I'm calling the police! Don't call the police! This must be the bedroom! Oh, a college here. student's most private place. They won't 
mind if we make some changes in the sake of saving energy. Come on, Jeff. See what we can change here. No, don't change. Who are and you? What? what are you doing? Screensaver, eh? Well, the myth about screensavers is that they actually don't save energy. I suggest if you set your computer to turn off the monitor after a few minutes. I'll do it for you. Let's check out the furnace. If you have central heating, you may want to consider checking out your furnace filter from time to time. Oh yeah, we got a good one. Now, when you replace them, they look like this. This is what they look like when they haven't been changed in a couple of years. You should go down to your hardware store and pick up a new one for a couple dollars. In addition to uh, making your, your heater more energy efficient, you actually remove dust and pollen and other particulate matter from the air. It's as simple as that.